Hello guys, first a quick apology, I'm fighting quite heavy flu for second week in a row, so my voice isn't 100% fit, but I hope you still understand what I'm saying in the upcoming videos for this week. Today I want to talk to you about scopes in Eloquent, and I want to show you two very interesting examples from open source project, how to use scopes, and what is the result of very elegant code when you use scopes. So we're looking at open source project called Monica. It's a CRM project and in the dashboard controller, you see this. So we have an account and we have contacts with has many, and then we have real, active and alive. What are these? If we open the contacts model, we can search for scope. And this is what is hiding behind that real. Scope real means the query of where is partial equals zero. Then scope active is active equals one. Scope alive is dead equals zero. Also the opposite, scope dead, scope not active, scope nodes, and other scopes. And particularly in this example, I wanted to show you how much shorter the code can be. So this is perfectly readable, like you would read that in English language. And the whole logic of implementation of that condition is under the hood in eloquent scopes. And that's not the only benefit. Another benefit is to reuse the same scope function and if you need to change that condition at some point, you can change that condition in the scope in one place so you don't repeat yourself, you don't repeat where conditions in different controllers or other files. But that's not all. You can use scopes not only for where conditions. Another example from the same repository, introductions controller. We have contacts, sibling contacts, which is another has many relationship, real, active, and then we have this, order by user preference. Pretty sure that Eloquent does not support that order by whatever you want, but in the contact model, you can find scope order by user preference, this. And it has quite a lot of logic inside. So based on the ordering preference on the user, in the user table, we order by first name or nickname or whatever the user preferred. So as I was saying, you can use scopes not only for adding where conditions, but also for adding order by. And again, this is perfectly readable, like you would read the English language sentence. Sibling contacts, real, active, and ordered by user preference, taking 20 records. So these are just two examples of how you can use local scope. They are called local scopes in Laravel. Just create a function with scope prefix in your model and then reuse that in the controller or wherever you're querying the data. If you want more quick tips like this one, subscribe to the channel. I'm still shooting daily videos here on YouTube and see you guys in other videos.